Leverage is gamble. Winning in leverage is impossible. No, these are not true. Only problem about it, you don't know how to use it. In this video, you will learn every detail about how to use leverage on mobile. I made this same video in Turkish before. Hundreds of thousands of people are watched, thousands of people are liked, and hundreds of them are commented. After you watching this video, you will leave your old questions behind. Watch every step really carefully. You don't want to miss any of those. So, first of all, you need to download the Binance application first. So just open your Google Play Store or App Store and text Binance in here. And click that application. Download it. When you download the application, click Open in here. Click Allow. And just press I'm new to crypto. If you already have an account, just wait for a few seconds. I will give you a good tricks about you as well. And then just write your email and phone number in here and create your password. After you create your account, there is a welcome aboard page. And this is really important. If you want to get 10% discount on all of your fees, you need to click yes in here. And in the referral ID part, just write Binance 2023. If you missed that in the first part, I will tell you another part in the second as well. So wait for that. Click next. By the way, this code will never change. Even in the every year, in 2025, 26, 27, even in the 30, you can use the same code Binance 2023. Okay, do your verifications afterwards and close that page. After do your verification, in the top left corner, in the yellow button, you will see that it's verified. Let's move on to the second page. How to use features? Because I already told you the, all the details about the Binance part. You can see the previous video in the channel. You can see the, that video in the right corner or the description below. In the first, you will see a page like that, but it's not very convenient. Just click the top left corner again and switch to Binance Pro in the down. So you will see a much more easy screen to use it. So let's move on to the futures part. If you already have a Binance account but didn't use the futures yet, there is also one trick for you. Click the assets in the right corner and click overview. You will see a futures part in the down in the account tab. Click that and click activate in the top. If that asks you another referral code, you can write Binance 2023 again. And this way you can also earn a 10% discount, especially for the futures part. Now we have a money in the spot. We need to transfer it from spot to futures to use that in the leverage trades. After you click transfer, from spot to USDM futures and click USDT. Click max and transfer. When you send the money, click Futures again in the down and let's deep dive in every detail in that secret. Let's keep that in here. Right now, you don't need to change anything. First of all, when you see the BTC USDT in the top left corner, when you click it, you will see all the available coins that you can trade in the Binance futures. You can choose any of them you want. And also you can rank them according to their last price, which is much more higher or 24 hour change. This is also important because if you're looking for a much more volatile coin in the market, these rankings are really important. For example, Merle up 27% in the last 24 hours. And if you click that again, you will see the most decreased coin also in the 24 hours. So just close that, for example, ZQC. Let's choose that. I choose that randomly. It's not important. It's not a financial advice. So after that page, these are really important details. So please really be careful about those. So let's start with the top left corner. There is a one funding option. What is funding in that screen? If you click that, there is also give you information. This is because of the spot market and the futures market are differentiate between the others. And this funding rate is here for making them equal in the same in the market. It can be a negative or positive number. If it's be a negative, short position owners pays the long position owners in every six hours generally or eight hours it really depends on the market if it's positive long positions pays short positions at commissions according to this rate for example right now 0 0.17 so when you're making trades you need to be really careful about funding rates after that there is a one cross and isolated part in the margin mode what are those if you open a position in the isolated margin, if you lose money, you will only lose the money that you put in the margin. But if you use the cross margin and they lose that money, you will lose all the money in your futures account. So if you're a newbie in the market, you should definitely use the isolated margin at first. After then, you can move to the cross because it's much more convenient and much more easy to use. So this is why I'm using cross margin 99% of the time. And the second part, you can see there is a 5x button in here. This is actually a really important part in the future because this is what makes leverage trade. This is the place that you can adjust your leverage. It can be 1x, 75x, 125x, 
dollars it doesn't really matter but you need to know how to use that for example if you have a ten dollar with the one x leverage your ten dollar is a ten dollar with the ten x leverage your ten dollar is a hundred dollars with a hundred x leverage your ten dollar is a thousand dollars so you can win as a thousand dollar but also you can lose as a thousand dollar as well so it could be a really riskier for you and also there is one more button in the right it's written s in here this is the asset mode why is important and which one you should choose i'm always using multi-asset mode because when you're using the multi-asset mode you can use your all of your stable coin as a one margin for example you have 10 usdt and 10 usdc but in your account you can see as a 20 so it's much more easy to use and then you need to choose your order type you can see there is written limits in here but there is a lot of different things when you're starting you don't need any of those just use limits and the market and what are those limit means that when you're buying some of the coin for example zkc in here i will buy that coin only with the 80 cents you can just write it in the price part and when it comes to the 80 cents you will buy that coin if it didn't decrease or didn't match with that price your order will not be work let's move on the second part what is market then if you choose the market let me just choose for example, I want to buy 20 ZKIC, but the price is not important for me. Buy me that coin as the available rate. So I will just start buy long. Let's try that. Confirm and it's created. For example, just see, I will use $3 margin because I want to get 20 ZKIC only. So it will just create my position right away. Let's close that position and let me show you the limit part as well. For the close it, I will just in the right corner, there is a close button. I will confirm, confirm. And in the, also in the market price, I close that position. Let's open a limit one. Let's say I want to buy that coin in the 80 cents only. And I will just write 80 cents in here, 20 ZKIC again, or I can just write the USDT as well as an order site, $10 worth of ZKIC. I said buy long, confirm. As you can see, there is nothing opened in my positions part right now, but there is something in my open orders. If I just click that, I will saw that if that price dropped down to the 80 cents, I will buy 9.6 ZKIC in here. If you don't want to wait, as I said before, you can use the market part. If you have a clear expectations about that price drops, you can also use that button. Let's say cancel and close it. Now I will show you my settings in the Binance app. Let's open another position. For example, $20 worth of long again, confirm. Okay, in my positions, Oops, I skip. There is also different buttons you can see in the below, but you can also customize them according to your views. Just go to the top side and click that three dots in the right corner and click preferences. In that one, it features the order confirmation. If you open those, every time you want to do one order, it will ask you, are you sure? Are you really want to do that? Blah, blah, blah. If you are new to this, maybe it can be good for you, but I'm always closing all of them because I want to be fast in the market. I don't want to lose any opportunities. So close that. Position settings is also important. I'm always using hedge mode. And this is why important because when you're opening a position, you can only use on one side. For example, what is long means? If you're expecting that price will be increased, you will open a long position. If you're expecting that pricing gonna be low, you will open a short position. But what if you expect in both ways? For example, there is a big announcement is coming. You don't sure about what's happening with that announcement. So you will open a two position, one short and one long. And according to the announcements, you can just close one of them. And after that, you can continue other way. And of course, I cannot change it right away because my position is already open right now. So I can just close the position and let me do that again. Close, confirm, confirm. And now I will go to the hedge mode. As I said, this is also easy. Asset mode that I told you before, they're using this one stable coin or all of them together. This is the same part. These are the price. This is not that important. If you are really into it, just click the dot in here and it, you can see it detailly. And also the other part that I really want to tell you is the button settings in the positions. Which ones that I'm using in? The first one, the edges leverage is not important, so I'm not using that. Stop profit and loss is important, I'm using. Close position is also important. And also that reverse button is also really fun for me. I'm really using that. And let me show you. This is really fun part about the features. For example, let me do that again. I will open another buy position in the ZKIC. Open long, confirm. Okay, I opened the position. It's, it's a long position. So what's that mean? I'm expecting that price is going to be rise in the close amount of time. But what if I change my mind? What will I do? If I close the position opening it again it's a long process but if we just click the reverse button in here and confirm 
my long position will automatically change to the short position. So I didn't lose any time. It just closed my position in the market cell. In the, for example, if I had a $10 in profits, okay, it gave my $10 profits and opened the same position in that price level. Now let's check the details about that position. For example, what's that mean? Size means total size of your position. Normally you only use $3.97 to open this position, but with the leverage, your position size is $20 right now. Margin ratio is the ratio that you're using in all of your portfolio. Portfolio, the entry price, of course, your entrance price of that coin. Mark price is a market price. And the leak price is if that coin reached that level, $2.7, you will lose all of your money inside of that futures account. Why? Because we opened the cross position in here. How can you lower that liquidation price? Or for example, can you make zero? Of course you can do. Let's do that. Let's click the close, open, confirm. And we have a $49 in our account right now. So if I open $40 worth of long position, open long, confirm. As you can see, my liquidation price is zero. So whatever it happens, my position will not be liquidated. This is a really important for you. So you can see if I use the $40 in my account only, what is the difference between spot and the futures? It's the same thing, but not. Let's do another test. I will leave that position open and choose another coin, for example, bake. I will open a $40 position on the bake again, open long, confirm. As you can see, I have an $80 worth of position, but both of them has a zero liquidation. Let's open another again. Nice. I don't know what that coins do, but I will open a $40 position again, open long, confirm. Now I have a three different long position. Both of them total size is $40, so in the total $120, but all of my liquidation is zero. So with the $50, I can open $120 worth of position with the zero liquidation. Is it gonna be stand like that? No. If they drops accordingly, my liquidation price will slowly appear. So you need to be really careful about those because you're using more than of your money. But if you'll give you a, another solution that you can save your money, if you are losing or winning, you can hedge your positions according to that. Okay, let's do the same thing in the isolated margin. In the right corner, there is a close all button. If I click that, oh, I won. Oh, <laughs> I will close all in here. Market close all, confirm and it will close all of my positions at once. I will change it to cross to isolated. Oh, you cannot change it isolated to cross in the multi-asset mode, so I need to change it to single asset mode again. Confirm. I changed the asset mode, and now I will change cross to isolated. It's successful. And I will open another $40 worth of long position. Confirm. Now, this is the important part. What will I see? It's the same part, $40 worth of position with the $7 or $8 of margin, but I have a liquidation price. I make the same thing, but why I have a liquidation price? Because when I'm using isolated margin, as I told you before, I'm only risking that margin money. For example, in the, that position, $7.98. So how can I decrease my liquidation price? There is a plus button in the margin. If I click that and add $35 in here, confirm, you can see I, my liquidation price is zero because I showed that to the Binance. If the position go in the bad situation, I have more money. You can use that also as a margin, so you don't have to liquidate me. Here's the way to do. So you're making your trades, but what are you trading? There is a candles in the right corner in the top. When you click that, click the 15 minutes, for example, you can see the chart of the coin. So for the technical analysis, you can also check that patterns or check the charts much more easily to understand the market. If you click the timestamps in the top, 15M means 15 minutes, 1H means one hour, four hour, one day, you can see different timestamps according to that candles. In the one day chart, one candle represents that coin's daily price change. And when we are going back, before the opening position, can you calculate your liquidation price? Yes. But how can you do that? Just click the plus and equal symbol in the right top and you can simulate your position. For example, I will open in the cross margin in the one way mode. I will open a long position with the 10x leverage. My entered price will be a $1, for example. And the quantity of that coin will be a $200. And my balance when I'm doing that is $40. Calculate. It said that if I enter that coin, my liquidation price will be 81 cents. So before entering to the trade, you can also simulate that what will be happen. What will be your liquidation price in the calculator mode? So actually all of your friends said that crypto is really hard, really impossible to learn. Are you agree with that? I think after the video, it's not. It's really easy and really profitable. So don't miss any of those. Just diversify your portfolio. If you're investing in other things, 
use also crypto as another portfolio as well. So thank you for watching. If you want to see much more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.